and welcome to your gold market update for today friday the 29th of july hope you've had a good week and i'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course us markets moved higher again overnight despite mixed data we saw gdp numbers which were slightly shy of expectations and of course we saw jobs numbers as well the weekly jobs number coming in around about as expected much of the recent up move is of course due to earnings season which we're seeing continue to perform better than expectations overall and indeed us futures are higher after apple and amazon both reported after the bell and moved higher in after hours trading particularly amazon which are in excess of 16 percent asian indices are following that positive us lead and the asx is up near one percent everything looking very strong to close the week and european futures again are suggesting a positive open the US dollar index, however, reacted adversely to that equity strength and we saw it move through support at those three week lows we referenced earlier in the week. And gold has hit monthly highs around about 1850 in today's trading. Oil continues to trade in a tight range as it has all week, currently around about 1.7 a barrel on the Brent crude contract CFD. And the VIX has dropped again to new 14 week lows and copper continues its recovery rallies and now is at monthly highs bitcoin has also seen some buy-in over the last couple of days or so and it is testing last week's highs and it is a quieter earnings day as is often the case on friday in the us but it does ramp up again next week of course we've got a plethora of companies reporting japanese cpi which has already been released is hotter than expected today later on this afternoon we've got german and eurozone gdp and once we hit the evening we are keeping an eye on the us pce data which is one that the fed particularly likes to keep an eye on so could be some market movement over the next 24 hours and perhaps a bit of repositioning prior to the weekend being such a good week that we've had let's just have a quick check in on a couple of charts that caught our eye today uh, we're going to start with wally parsons on the asx and we can see moving up ever closer to that 1456 resistance which we last hit towards the back end of june uh, we're seeing this long-term double bottom type of formation here and should we get a break of this there's a move potentially up around about the five and a half percent mark to retest that 1550 resistance that we hit at the beginning of june in the fx world we're keeping an eye on the gb pound yen if we look at the daily chart we've been trading in a range of around about 200 pips for the last couple of weeks we see a bounce again off 163 and if we look at a 30 minute chart you can see that positivity in asia since we opened at this point here very much a risk on environment and we are thinking that perhaps we might get a move up around about 68 before we hit major resistance although there may be some pause around the 40 pip region higher around this 164.30 Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.